What's up guys and welcome back once again to Dinner Reviews. If you want to find out why this controller could be the next controller for you, then stay tuned. So as mentioned in the intro, this could be your next controller um, for basically the reasons of the features that it has. This is the Easy SMX Mechanic Master X10. Um, now, I apologize for my voice, I'm not very well at the moment, uh, but I need to get this video done because Easy SMX uh, Easy SMX have sent this out for me to do a review and I promised I'd do it for them. Um, so thank you to them for sending this out. We're going to take a quick look at this uh, controller, like unboxing it, um, show you how it looks. Uh, I'll give you my my opinions on how it feels, how the buttons feel, gives you a little bit of a sound test on those as well. Um, and then we'll basically, I'll do some testing with it and then give you my final thoughts. Um, so let's get into the unboxing and see what's happening. So here we have the Easy SMX X10 Mechanic Master. Uh, as the name suggests, it's a mechanical uh, sort of gaming keypad, keypad, gamepad, um, and obviously I'll talk you through the features of basically what makes this a special controller um, and better, hopefully better than any of the others that are out there at the moment. Um, so the features that are on uh, shown on the box is mechanical tactile buttons, so that's your X, Y, A and B are actually mechanical switches, um, so like similar to what kind of thing you'd find on your mechanical keyboards. Uh, we've got swappable magnetic faceplates, so these faceplates here can be swapped out, which we'll obviously look at in a second. And then the big one, which is going to basically make a lot of people want this, is the both the joysticks and the triggers are Hall Effect triggers. Um, so that basically means that, um, as far as I'm aware, I use magnets um, to determine their sort of position, and the, it stops any um, drift, joystick drift that you find with other cheaper um, controllers um, and normally you don't find them uh, hole uh, effect hole um, effect sticks and, and, and shoulder buttons on um, on such a cheap uh, on such a cheap controller um, and I'll talk about the price in just a second it says long lasting battery life it's got a thousand milliamp hour battery in it unfortunately even looking on the website it doesn't give you any idea of what they sort of rate it for in terms of hours um, so I can't uh, basically tell you that. And it also says you can customise with the Easy SMX app, which I assume is a phone app, but we'll have a look shortly on that. Um, and hopefully you've got some software for it on the uh, PC as well. So let's unbox it and have a look. As you can see, it comes nicely packaged. You get a USB dongle, which obviously plugs down into your USB point. One thing I didn't mention is this can be used on PC, Switch, Stream Deck, and Android and iOS, so uh, it can be used on a lot. It doesn't obviously say it's usable on uh, PS5 or Xbox. Um, they do sell controllers that are available for those, I believe, um, but I don't know if they do one that's like this. Um, so check their website out if you want to know about that. And then obviously you get the controller itself, see if there's any other accessories in here. Yeah, a little QR code, I assume is to get probably to the website. Um, you get a wireless controller manual, Let's give you a... and then you get a USB charge cable, which is USB C to USB A, and then you get a spare white faceplate, so you can take this faceplate off and put this one on, which I will um, do shortly, so you can have a look what it looks like. But let's quickly talk about the controller itself. So like I said, this is a controller, um, feels absolutely lovely in the hand. You've got nice sort of rubberized grippy texture at the bottom here where your hands will sit, where this part of your hand will sit, and you've also got it around the back uh, on the way you, your palm will go and the rest of your hand will go around. In terms of feeling the hand, I have quite large hands, I'd say. It feels absolutely lovely in the hand, um, perfect sort of size. Um, let me get my old battered Xbox controller. So this is my Xbox One controller. Um, so it feels, to be honest with you, feels a, this feels a little bit smaller than an Xbox controller, um, but it's not uncomfortable. Um, everything's still nicely in reach. Everything like that. So I'd, I'd say in terms of comfortable. How, how comfortable it is, then yeah, I can't complain at all at the moment. So let's talk over everything that we've got on here. So like I said, these are mechanical. Hopefully you can hear those. Let me just put the microphone a bit closer. There 
a tactile button, a tactile mechanical button, and as you hopefully you heard the clicking of them, so they're like a kind of like a blue switch, I'd say. Uh, you've got your start and sort of B button, back button, maybe something like that. You've got a setting button here. Um, I assume that's sort of like your Xbox button. I don't know to be honest with you. And uh, then you've got this button up here, which actually I've just found out turns it on. And um, it's not connected at the moment, so that's why it's flashing. D pad is feels quite nice. Not mushy, nice clicky. Yeah, feels really good. And then joysticks, they feel really, really smooth. And obviously they've both got clicks as well on on the middle of them. And yeah, they feel absolutely lovely and smooth. I uh, can't complain about those at all. You've got uh, shoulder buttons and trigger buttons. I'm not sure if these are mechanical, these top ones, I assume so, but it doesn't actually say anywhere whether they are or not. Um, tiny bit mushy at the bottom end of the travel, uh, but not too bad at all. When you're holding them like that, they don't feel too bad at all. Feel, they don't feel bad, to be fair. Um, they feel quite nice. And then you've got your trigger buttons here, which obviously a hall effect, which should give you a bit more, basically better control over how much they are pressed. So if you've got like racer games and stuff, depending on how often, how much you push them in, will be how you accelerate. Flip it over to the back. We also have um, back paddle buttons. We have an M1 and M2 which obviously can be mapped to how you want them to be. Um, and use those for extra buttons there. Then on the bottom here, we have this one on the right is for changing your vibration settings. Um, and then this one is a turbo button, so you can set it up for like turbo auto fire and things like that. Um, as, as the name states, turbo sort of fire. Um, you, can, you can change that. It tells you in the manual how to do that. Um, I'm not, I don't know if I'll mess about with that today. It's not something I would use normally. and not something a lot of people would use, I don't think. But it's there if you need it. Um, so, yeah, that's that, guys. Let's uh, basically pop these covers off, have a look at how it looks with the different covers on, um, and then we'll get it tested. So to pop these covers off, by the looks of it, you literally put your thumb under here, and then hopefully you can just lift it away. Yeah, not too bad, not too hard. As you can see there, and then under this one there's a tab here as well, you can pull these bits off. There we go. And then these are magnetic covers, so like I say, they should just pop back on. Yep, no problem at all, didn't even know it got on to be honest. But same with that one, and the same with that one, and now you've got a nice white controller if that's for your theme. Um, so yeah, it looks really, really nice. And this also has the grip on it as well. Obviously it doesn't change the back, there isn't back covers for it. Um, but you can change the front quite easily. Let's just swap that back over. I prefer the silver personally. So let's get this plugged in and uh, see how it goes. So it's as easy as literally flicking the switch on the back, which I didn't mention before, is basically between Bluetooth and Nintendo Switch and cables, and then obviously between the dongle, and then literally press that button. It vibrates to let you know it's connected and that blue uh, light lights up. Um, so we're all good to go. Let's play some games. Right, so we're just going to do a test drive on this uh, track on F1 2022 just to give a feeling of how this uh, controller, get a feeling of how this controller is. Uh, I'm just going to do a couple of laps on Spa maybe, maybe just the one, I'm not sure yet. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to give you a sort of my idea of what I feel this controller feels like. Um, so first of all, let's test the trigger at the start. So barely touching it now. You can see it just slowly creeping up, slowly increasing my finger on the trigger. And now we're full throttle. Yeah, definitely good control there on the trigger. Uh, yeah, good on the uh, brake as well. Um, so that feels nice. Uh, joystick feels very, very smooth. Um, yeah, I can't complain about that at all. Those buttons don't do anything at my setup at the moment. Um, but I thought I'd use this to, to give it a test because I get to use the triggers throughout the whole thing, which is one of the, the main advantages of this controller of having the Hall Effect triggers. And also I'm using the joystick through the whole thing as well, which you would have made a game anyway, really. And I get to use the buttons ever so often for uh, DRS, which is these here, and they feel absolutely lovely. Um, nice click and sort of feel to them to give you feedback you've used them. Um, so yeah, I can't complain about those at all. Um, but yes, so far so good. Feels really nice in the hand. I, I feel like this would be a good controller to use and would be very comfortable for hours and hours of use. Um, so yeah, I can't see a problem with this at all. 
So I have a little blast around here, get a feeling for it and validate my time, that's lovely. One thing I will say is these uh, these triggers are really, really smooth. Really smooth. Very sort of, I want to say light, but they're not particularly light. I wouldn't say the light is in, so you can't feel them, um, but just feel like you've got good control over them. Um, and the joysticks are very, very smooth as well. And you say you shouldn't get over time any problem with joystick drift on these with them being Hall Effect. Um, so that's really, really good. And I just like everything I feel about this controller, to be honest with you. Um, it's settings at the bottom here for vibration. If I turn that off, yeah, straight off. Obviously, you expect that to happen. First one, really, really light vibration. Let me just go around this corner and feel how that feels. Yeah, to be honest with you, you can barely feel it. Go on to the second level of vibration. That's not too bad. Go up to the third. And then the fourth. Yeah, definitely, for me, it needs to be on the highest level. The others are a bit too weak, obviously, but that's personal preference. Um, but yeah, definitely, I'd, I'd personally say um, the vibration control is good. It's nice to have, be able to have that if you don't like the vibration. I don't want it too strong. Um, but personally, I feel like to get a good feedback in terms of what's happening in the game, um, then you best have it on the highest setting available. Um, so that's it guys, um, I've had a, a good test of this, uh, I quite like this to be honest with you, uh, I say quite like this, I really like this controller. Um, so let's go back up top and I'll give my sort of feedback on how, what I feel about it. So just wanted to show you a bit about the uh, app that you get with it, um, relatively easy to connect at the moment as far as I'm aware there's only the phone one which is what you see in this, um, just the phone one for the phone, I don't know why there's not one for PC, I can't find one on the website so I'll contact EZS Max and find out about that because uh, there really should be one for the PC. So you can basically change settings on it and stuff like that. Um, so you've got a device list here, management. Uh, it comes up as Q Macro for some reason, and in Bluetooth settings on my phone comes up as an Xbox controller. Uh, however, who cares really if it works. Gives you a battery level indicator there. Um, there's a games bit here, so obviously you can then use your use the uh, controller with your phone as it is Bluetooth. Uh, macro configuration here. Um, so you can set up different macros and things like that. Macro M1, burst, uh, trigger, so you can set a sort of, I don't know what that does to be fair, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I assume it's the threshold for the trigger by the looks of things, it's three to 100. Um, rocker, so that's your, again your joysticks. Mapping, you can check, change the mapping of them and then you can change the left and right motor independently in terms of the configuration. And then we've got a shopping page as well, which way you can buy stuff. Um, it's like games and controllers, X10s there, I've already got one, thank you. Uh, then you go into settings, sorry, not settings, where is it? Device, and you go onto Q Macro here. If you go on this way, you can do all sorts of things. You can do uh, tests, so you can do a handle test. So as you can now see, this shows, shows you all the buttons so you can make sure um, I don't know what the hell's going off here, it's definitely decided to change. But every time you press B it comes out of it, so that's a bit daft. <laughs> but you can see that and then obviously you can test the controllers. As you can see this is sort of the granularity you've got for control. You see how fine the control is there with these Hall Effect sensors. Really, really good to see. See that? Same on the left and it can joystick as well look you've got lots of fine control on these and you've got your buttons at the back as well and again for some reason when you press these buttons they, they back out of everything so that's a bit annoying to be honest with you um, but the main thing there is the uh, sort of control you've got over the triggers which is absolutely great so let's go back and see what else is on the mem uh, menu soma soma to sensor recalibration no idea what that means I assume this is the, um, I assume that's sort of the uh, motion sensor in the controller for like flying games and things like that. So yeah, it's calibrated that you leave it still, no problem whatsoever. 
Rocker calibration. Please operate the left and right joystick after completing the operation. Press B. I don't know what you're supposed to do. It just says operate them. That's that. <laughs> trigger calibration. Again, pull the triggers. And then press B to finish that, apparently. However, it's decided to stop working. That cancelled for some reason. I don't know why that wouldn't work. You've got a firmware version, so you can look at your firmware. You can control the version. You can upgrade the firmware of the controller. You can reset it and everything like that. So by the looks of it, it does actually save your details on here for what you change on here. Um, so if you basically do any of the configuration in terms of your buttons and things like that, then you can change those as well. So you've got all those settings there and you save those. So that's it, guys. I just wanted to quickly show you the, the software and what you can do with it. Um, like I say, for some reason, it is only Android at the moment. I don't know why. Um, hopefully there'll be a PC version, but I'll speak to EasySMX about that and find out what's going off. Uh, so that's it, guys. Let's go back and talk about the rest. Right, so after having uh, a quick go with this controller, um, quick blast round, Spa Francochamps in Belgium on F1 2022. Um, like I say, I, I personally I think uh, racing games are a really good way to test a controller out because you're using sort of the main buttons most of the time, especially with this controller with it being Hall Effect and basically the biggest features are the triggers and the joysticks, which you're going to use all the time uh, in a racing game. That's the reason I've used F1 2022 and it's also one of my favourite games in terms of racing games at the moment. Um, until I get 2023, um, but yeah, I absolutely love my F1, um, so that's the reason I've done that. Um, so, uh, in terms of this controller, first of all, let me talk about the price, I don't think I told you it yet. Um, 40, uh, the current time of recording, this is about, four, I think it's 41 or 41.99 English pounds, so probably about $45 for a, joy, for a gamepad with, um, with Hall Effect joysticks, Hall Effect triggers, mechanical buttons, wireless, um, extra features, back paddle buttons, everything like that. And also, I forgot to mention, it also does have a motion control on it for tilting and stuff like that. Um, I've not really got any game I can use that on at the moment. Um, if I get a flight simulator, I might do a test on that and I may do a follow-up short or something. Um, but I don't have anything like that at the moment. Um, but I'll look out for that. Like, like I say, for a controller of this many features, this solidly feeling, it feels relatively heavy as well, which to me is also is always a sign of uh, quality. It's not always true, um, but yeah, it feels amazing. There's, there's like almost no rattle. Obviously, the buttons are tiny, a tiny rattle when you do that, but it feels um, really, really high quality. I can't knock it whatsoever. Um, I think it looks amazing as well. Um, you may disagree with me on the fact that you get a, a white faceplate to change on it as well if you want to change the look of it. Is absolutely fantastic. Obviously, if you really wanted to, you could spray paint it a different colour, your spare one, and then you can have it whatever colour you want. Um, so yeah, the the um, customizable features are absolutely great. Um, so yeah, it's it's just it's just overall a fantastic, fantastic um, controller, and the price is absolutely brilliant. Um, I don't know what else is out there in terms of Hall Effect. I mean, I've also reviewed this one. Um, from Fly Digi, which I absolutely love. This is the one with the screen in it, and it is brilliant, and it's really, really, really heavy, um, and it is a great controller. Uh, however, this doesn't have Hall Effect at all on it, um, and this is a lot more expensive. I think to buy in this country, if you can find it, it's like £100. Um, you can get it on AliExpress for a bit cheaper, um, but like I say, in terms of the difference in features, this one's got a bit more in terms of, other than it hasn't got that screen, um, but how useful is that screen really um so yeah um absolutely great it's an absolute bargain if you're looking for a new controller don't want to spend a lot and want sort of the best quality you can get and the best feature set you can get uh then just go out and buy this um i'll put the links in the description below for you um to their website where you can buy it from actually and if i can find it on amazon things like that i'll put them in there as well and also you can look at more information about this controller as well um if you do want to see more follow-ups in terms of using the uh, motion control and give me a shout in the comments and I'll, I'll try and do a short at some point um, just to show you um, what it's like and give you my sort of opinion on it 
Um, one thing I would like to see from Easy, S Easy SMX, if you're listening, um, please, please release a 3D file for these pl face plates so we can 3D print our own and make our own designs uh, and make our own colors and make spares, basically. Please do that or sell them separately. I don't know if you do yet, um, but it would be lovely if you could do that. It'd be a great thing for you to do to basically help your nearly dropped it, to help your customers out. Uh, for those that have got 3D printers or know someone that's got a 3D printer, to be able to print these out and make your own would be awesome. Um, I'm gonna, I might try and make one myself in CAD, um, see if I can match it. I don't know if I will, I'm not that good. Uh, I might try and uh, do that, but um, we'll see. Um, so that's it guys, I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. If you are looking for a controller, I hope this one's helped you out. Um, definitely, definitely, definitely recommend it. I can't really see any downsides with it at the moment. Um, obviously I will be playing with it uh, long and longer term sort of thing so if you comment on this video the next few months ask me how i'm getting on with it and i'll let you know so that's it guys thank you for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video